Hey guys, it's a blessed, beautiful day here in Michigan. It's a little colder than expected, but you know, the Lord is blessed. Uh, we had warm weather last week, so can't really complain. I was uh, planning on posting a video on Friday, but I got a little behind and didn't get to it. So I'm gonna try to post a video every day. Today I'm gonna be just making a couple buttons. Um, I'm using this uh, button maker here. I got it from American Button Machines. I will leave their link down in the description. Um, this is the two and a quarter inch size button maker. Uh, this is a standard size button. They, they work really, really well. You can see that when the button is complete, um, it's a nice glossy finish. And they also have these little foil things you can put around the outside edge if you'd like to. I think it really gives the button a nice finished look. Um, I'm making these buttons for um, any clients that want to bring their children by to get a free button. With the way things are, everyone may not be able to afford to buy a St. Patrick's Day shirt or all the green shirts might be sold out. If you're in the printing um, business, then you know that sometimes finding supplies can be a little bit difficult right now. So I'm just gonna, let me see, and make a couple of these. I have the pieces already in here. Take your piece of paper, printed piece of paper, and you stick it right in the machine. Get you a clear piece of uh, mylar, stick it on top, and you just rotate it around. I try to push this slow so I don't shake the camera too much. I don't have my tripod because I always lose the adapter for my phone, so I just have my phone propped up on a, what is this thing here? A cup and a little pocket stone thing so it hits at an angle, kind of crazy, but it works. You do what you gotta do till you get what you can. So there's the button. Uh, this one I did without the ring around it. You can see it's just a standard pin button. Pop it out, pop it back in. Uh, these little button machines are really useful. I've probably made over probably 5,000 buttons with it. I've had it since 2018, no, nope, like 2017. Um, a customer came in and he said, hey, he wanted to get some buttons. He wanted to get 50 buttons, and I thought, hey, I'll get a button maker. They're probably only $50. Boy, was I wrong. Um, this button maker cost about, I think it was $275. I may be wrong. You'll have to check their website. But I bought the button maker. I didn't make any money on his button order. But I started to offer buttons on Etsy. Uh, I don't have an Etsy store any longer, but I used to, and I offered the buttons on Etsy, and the Lord blessed that I sold thousands of buttons. Um, so it pays for itself. You just have to market it to your clients. Uh, when you're making a button, it comes with, uh, you know, the two parts, like I was showing you. You put one over here, one over there, pop it in there, and you can make them really fast. It really just depends on how fast you want to go. Um, they have a couple different sizes. They'll smaller size I think they have is a one inch. If you're into a cosplay or anything like that, then a one inch button might work. They also have like a one and a quarter, a two inch, two and a quarter. They even go all the way up to like a six inch button maker. I don't need one that big, but hey, maybe you do. There's another one. Um, this thing can also make bottle openers. So I'll make a bottle opener just for the heck of it so you can see how those turn out. The left side stays the same. You put your uh, little piece of paper in there, put your mylar piece of clear sheet on there, and then you get your, uh, your bottle opener bagging, which is this right here. And you put it in there upside down, just like you would the button. And you press it just like you would a regular button. It gives you a lot of options, especially if you have any clients that are uh, restaurants or in a bar. Great promotional product. You can make some of these up. Take it over to them, give it to them for free. I know that sometimes giving stuff away for free may seem like, you know, a waste of time for some people, but I found it to be really helpful because people really get to see the products that you make and they get a nice sample for their business. So you got a pinch proof bottle opener. Another thing that you can make with this button maker is, let me see what else I have. I think I have a mirror that you can make as well, but oh, here we go. Yeah. 
So you can also make a mirror. So I'm gonna do that for you and let you see what a, a mirror looks like. But the mirrors come with this little thin ring which you put in first. Then you take your little mirror piece. You sit that in there face down. And then the same process, put your piece of your printed paper on there. Put your piece of mylar, spin it around, press it up. These are great little pocket mirrors, uh, little party gifts. These would be great for party gifts for like maybe a, a little one's birthday party. You could give these away. Can you see here? The, you can see my little stand that I made for uh, holding my phone. Isn't that something? <laughs> That's actually this thing that it's reflecting on is actually the thing I used to cut the uh, shapes out for my button maker, for my buttons. So yeah, with these you can make a lot of different stuff. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Try to post another print video tomorrow. I hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful evening. And uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Tell me what you like, tell me what you didn't like, tell me what you'd like to see, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.